You don't need to go to Niagara Falls when you can eat some Brian Falls. What's going on, NASCAR Diecast Collectors and Diecast Viewers on YouTube? This is Original Big Brian here. Welcome back to another NASCAR Authentic Diecast Review on my YouTube channel. And today we're going to be doing a really cool exclusive race uh, race winner car that we got from my good friends at Lionel Racing. As I already go ahead and give you guys a good amount of the details that we got for this Diecast Review. But without further ado, we're going to go ahead and look at this exclusive Diecast Review of Ryan Reed's. Wow. Yeah, I know, right? Who would have known we were going to see this car? But yeah, Ryan Reed's 2017 Lily Diabetes race win from the day from the Daytona um, Xfinity race. Yeah, let's just say. Well, two things I got to say. First of all, another Ryan Reed diecast. That's pretty freaking awesome. And second, race win diecast. I finally made a return for for 2017 even though it's 2018 now. So better late than ever, but glad to see this back, guys, as we got a pretty different background for the race win, for the race versions, guys. See right there, we do not have the race version card, but we got um, something a little more different, which looks pretty cool, and we got the race version logo on the NASCAR, Authentic, on NASCAR Authentics packaging, which is, uh, that's pretty nice. I didn't even notice that before, but now it's there. So very nice right there. This could be a really cool card we'll be talking about. As we take a look at the back with all the rest of the diecast we got right there, as uh, we do got uh, two exclusive, actually three exclusive diecasts in this wave, and you guys probably know who they are. If you guys, uh, we probably feel free to put them in the comments, then uh, go right ahead. And um, yeah, congratulations, you will be a winner for whatever the hell I'm trying to say. <laughs> but without further ado, guys, we're gonna go ahead and do a diecast review and unbox the bad boy of the uh, Ryan Reed 2017 Daytona um, Xfinity win. All right, buddy, we got this Demolition Derby car out of its box, and uh, yeah, literally, guys, this car, it definitely looks like, uh, you know, it got straight out of a Demolition Derby because just this car, yeah, I, I'm really looking, I'm really excited about this diecast for you guys, but um, before we go ahead and look at 360 of this car, we're going to go ahead and look at the uh, accessory that comes with this, and it is a, um, a, a card, which is pretty cool right there. So um, a little more different than we got for the race winner cards for this year. Um, first one that we got for exclusive. So you see right there, there's a diecast winner of Ryan of the diecast that we are reviewing. So very nice right there. Got all the nice race marks to it and all the tape and all that wonderful stuff, rubber buildup. And then on the back is all the information. As you guys know, this is Ryan Reed's second official win, um, career win as well for his Xfinity Series um, season. And um, yeah, it's the second time he also won at Daytona. So very cool, but glad we got this in diecast form um i know they did made it in 124 as well for both of his wins but first for 164 um but yeah guys this is also the second time we got a ryan reed car produced as another exclusive car um we got a ryan reed car from um from early on in 2017 from uh, i believe wave one with his lily diabetes dawn's a throwback car and as you guys see right there um i'm already doing 360 view but you guys see right there there are a lot of cool race marks to this this car got beat it up like crazy and i tell you what man for this much detail on a 164 it's pretty freaking awesome guys this is the i guess i recommend getting i mean next to kurt bush's daytona 500 win this car is sick like, I, the both Daytona, uh, I mean, uh, both Daytona races for 2017 were quite a wreck fest, guys, and we did got some really cool race win diecast for uh, for those um, for for um, for that for the speed weeks. So, but you see right there is also the race mark where um, you know it looks like he uh, that he um, probably got that during victory lane or possibly uh, making uh, contact when there was side drafting going on and all that fun stuff. But you can see right there, there's some more rubber buildup on the corner panel. And um, <laughs> that whole side underskirt is just completely covered in rubber buildup and all sorts of wonderful stuff. But um, you see right there, you got to get that focus on that Mac Tools logo. Um, that's kind of funny that 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 that, that, that this little um, indent right here, this little race mark right here, circles all the sponsors. So it's like, <laughs> you know, that's some good advertising right there for any of those little sponsors right there. <laughs> um, see right there they also got the nascar race winner sticker and um well race winner stickers right here and then there's a nascar official logo got my words mixed up there for a second guys don't crush me on that <laughs> and they see there's a court there's the uh the front panel which looks really bent up as well and that is tape right there which i think the 164 did a better job covering this all up on the 124 it's not nearly all covered up which that's pretty sad 
to see a 164 being more accurate than the 124. Also on the back, guys, on the corner panel, uh, you guys know that this car, um, well, first of all, it does not have the name banners like it does for all the other Xfinity cars, but um, it does have the wrong mold as well because um, I don't think the Fords, I, I think only the Chevrolets for this year um, had the new uh, mold. If you guys know what I'm talking about, then check out my Dale Jr. Degree diecast review that I did a couple uh, weeks ago, or a couple days ago, depending when I'm going to upload this video. But uh, yeah, wrong spoiler, and also um, the back of this... Um, the back, the back of this diecast, um, I don't think this is supposed to be here. I think they were trying to do molded out damage or something, but uh, it, it does look somewhat inaccurate. Well, I don't know. I mean, um, I think Winwell 8020 pointed this out when I checked this diecast review of uh, the 124 scale. But, I don't know, maybe I'm just rambling or I'm crazy, either way. But um, and then we're going to look at the front, guys, and this car looks really cool. As you guys see right there, uh, uh, I guess you could say uh, Ryan Reed's driving a Ford Ing car. <laughs> well, it's a Ford Mustang, but uh, that's kind of funny right there. But that is all tape that's on the front end of that car, which is really cool. I mean, uh, that, that, that right there, I didn't think Lionel was going to do, but they did. Uh, I think the tape is 3D, and um, I think it is, uh, well, it's not 3D on here, but on the 124, I think it is three-dimensional, and it does stick out, um, as far as I know. Um, but, yeah, great attention to detail by Lionel, and... Man, I didn't even think they were going to make this diecast, to be honest with you guys. But I'm glad to see we got some surprises from um, this wave. I think um, Wave 9 easily is probably uh, my next favorite wave. I don't know. I mean, Wave 7 was was such a good wave. I think Wave 9 is just a good second. And then Wave 10 is probably my third favorite. So, uh, I don't know, guys. Maybe I'll do a, uh, I'll do a top 10. Uh, I don't know. If you guys want to see a top 10... Uh, uh, um, um, a video of uh, the NASCAR Authentics Waves. Um, that might be a good idea that I want to do if I want to get back to doing the uh, top 10 diecast uh, countdowns. But um, back to the diecast, guys. What more do I got to say about this Ryan Reed car? I say it's a go out and get it, guys. This car is going to sell like crazy, even though it's a Ryan Reed car. But you got to admit, for, for five bucks, you get a really cool looking race win car. That has a lot of cool attention to detail, and I would recommend getting it. As now we're actually going to do the comparison, as I almost forgot about this, and we're going to be looking at the Daytona Xfinity winner from last year. This may look familiar because I brought this car out on my Dale Jr. review, um, the Chase Elliott car, guys. So that is really cool that Lionel was able to produce both Daytona cars um, for the past two years, and hopefully this is a trend they're going to do, guys. I know they couldn't do it for 2017 for the Cup Series because Kurt Busch won, and they can't produce a monster car in the 164 scale. Sam but glad to see that we got this um, it's the next best thing but um, yeah that's really nice right there guys um, I, I would probably recommend the Ryan Reed car because the only race park the race mark on this uh, Chase LA car was the uh, back corner panel which that guy Denson did which I did like that it was pretty cool that lineup was able to do that I mean they couldn't mold out the damage but if they did that'd be pretty cool but custom makers can do that too guys but um, yeah guys I mean um, if you already had the Chase Elliott Daytona win I recommend going and get the Ryan Reed car as well, guys. But that's all I'm say. I got to say on the Ryan Reed 2017 Lily Diabetes Daytona Xfinity win Ford Mustang for Roush Fenway Racing. If you guys enjoyed this diecast review, please give a good comment, like it if you guys have not already. Highly encourage you guys to subscribe to my channel for any more of the latest NASCAR Authentics reviews and many more to come. But until then, guys, until I get the next couple cars from Wave 9, I will catch you guys on another NASCAR Authentics diecast review. And uh, so long for now, everybody.